Hi everybody, today's video is going to be something a little bit different, as you can see, different room in the house, got my glasses on, it's all different. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit shorter, we're doing an ab blasting session today, we'll pop in a few functional movements as well to get you going, but it'll be shorter just because we're really really going to concentrate on the core and tummy muscles today, get them six packs going. Um, so yeah, if you're finding it super super fatiguing on your tummy muscles, just rest at any point, always feel free to pause the video um, and take your time in between it so that you can manage the full length of the session. But we'll do our usual, we will get warmed up first, head to toe, and then the rest of the exercises will be down on the mat. Come into standing for me. Gonna come into a wide stance. We're gonna start off with some squats. Feet turned out at about 10 to two on the clock. So on a plie position, arms down by your side, inhale. And on your exhale, it's gonna warm up the hips first of all, then for about 10 to 20 squats. Have a wee look down at your knees. Make sure your knees are going right the way over your second toe on your feet and you're trying to keep your upper body as upright as possible, which will be quite tough, especially if you're quite tight at the ankles and the calves, which I definitely am. So um, I feel like I really, really struggle to keep my upper body up straight in these. Brilliant. Last few, inhale and exhale, nice and easy, just go on as deep or as shallow as you like. This time we're going to squat, hop off to the right hand side, lift leg, down into a squat and then the opposite side. So really slow down, when you're making that transition onto the single legged lift, slow it way down. You will feel a little bit of a wobble in the legs, that's totally normal, but I'd rather you're able to control what you're doing, which is what Pilates is all about, controlling the movement as you go, gripping the floor with your feet. Like I say, even feel free to kick off into your bare feet if you like, as long as you've just moved on a surface and you're not gonna hurt yourselves. Last one on each side. I just have my hands in prayer position and then back center. One foot in front of the other, I'm going with my right foot out in front first. Arms down to the side. Dropping the back knee into a lunge, hands come up overhead. We do 10 on each leg. Make your way up and down. Try and keep the ribs down as you're lifting the arms up overhead. I'm not even counting. <laughs> okay, we'll two more on this leg. And then we shall swap over, step together. Try and step back with the right leg. Coming down on that back knee, arms are up overhead when I'm down here, and we're straightening up and down. Always trying to get the breathing in sync with the movement as well, steady you up. Excellent, last three, two, and one. From here, now I want you to stay where you are. I've got my left foot out in front. I'm going to bring both hands down so they're coming either side of the foot. We step that foot back so that we're in full plank position. And then we step the right leg up in between the hands, just like the way we were in the beginning. And then we use that to step up and through. All right, this time we'll go back with the left leg. Two hands come down either side of the right foot through the plank. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot through, stand up tall, and go back with the right. Hands come down either side of the left foot. Push through the plank, inhale, step with the right, stand up tall. Step back with the left, hands on either side of the right foot, inhale, exhale, step through the plank. Pull your tummy up. Inhale, exhale, step through. Put the left and step together. Make this our last one. Step back with the right. Get the balance as you come down, then popping the hands either side of the left foot. Inhale, exhale, step through the plank. Inhale. Now, on this exhale, I'm going to try to stay in our plank position. If this is too difficult, you can come down onto a forearmed plank either. See what's most comfortable. 
gently on the tap plank taps 10 times i would go super slow with this one but i'm trying to make sure that isn't happening I'm trying to make sure i'm not tilting my pelvis around too much and you can see i'm struggling here but i don't want to see this kind of thing happen like let's make this slow and deliberate and i've got the control of the core let's shift over onto the left arm pick up and down with the right hand shift over onto the right arm up and down with the left nearly there keeping that tummy tucked in the whole time inhale exhale push yourself up and through into a nice downward dog Whew. this is an intense one today <laughs> big breath in squeeze the shoulder blades back trying to get the heels back onto the mat and you're looking down in between your knees inhale exhale let's walk those hands and feet so they're a little bit closer together spinal roll up i will not make you guys do anything without warming up these spines let's start to stack ourselves back up into standing excellent feet slightly wider than hip width apart we're going to go in for our stand and saw stretch arms up to about 90 degrees inhale on your exhale i'm going to get you to take your right hand it's going to go down towards the left leg so you've got this hand going up behind you we do this when i'm sitting all the time and i want you to come down and touch the outside of your left ankle you can bend that knee a bit if you want and you're reaching back with this left hand to look over your shoulder inhale exhale ground down through the feet to stand back up and we'll do the opposite side a few times inhale exhale left hand to the outside of the right leg you grab the outside of the ankle if you're looking back over that right shoulder inhale exhale to stand a few more inhale exhale going down with the right arm great big stretch for the back body here we're also getting that spinal rotation into the next inhale exhale to stand really ground down through your feet like we always do that softens of the knees inhale exhale soft stretch right the way down twist your spine around to look over that right shoulder inhale exhale back up center inhale here exhale we're going to lunge onto this left leg i'm going to come this way for you guys we're going to bend top arm over inhale exhale lift that bottom hand up so the two hands meet just here inhale exhale to come back up and center try to keep steady like i'm on a surfboard all right big breath in exhale lunging down onto that knee we lunge down and over inhale and you're lifting that bottom hand up to get a little bit of obliques activation here getting those tummy muscles working inhale exhale bend that left knee and let's say flex off to the left exhale two hands come and join me your tummy muscles holding here now inhale exhale back center let's come back to that last side last of all it's a great big stretch first so you're getting the stretch then you're getting that little isometric strength and contraction reach up and away inhale exhale back center and we're going to roll down onto the mat last of all spinal roll down big breath in breath out chin tucks towards the chest upper back is rounding forward knees are soft dropping our way down one vertebra at a time till we're down in that full spinal stretch position let's just be here for a minute big breath in you're looking in between your knees getting the whole of the spine into a nice bit of flexion here inhale on the exhale ground down through the feet soften your knees let's start to stack the spine back up one bit at a time into standing mid back shoulders and head are the last thing to come up this one we're going to take ourselves all the way down into our mat on our all fours position inhale exhale off we go again chin tucks to chest knees soften your arms are heavy out in front of you go nice and slow and deliberate here you're gently opening up the spine down into flexion until you're down in that maximal forward bent position you know you can't go any further you're just feeling the stretch all down the back body inhale and on your exhale bend at the knees and let's come down onto the mat so we've done a little bit of plank work to warm up there 
and we'll just further our plank work just a little bit more here so for this plank i'm going to get you to come down onto your forearms all right if you're wanting plank level one if you're still not out there feel free to go for this one yeah if you're wanting a wee bit of an abs challenge today come into plank position like so okay you're gonna hold this with me we'll maybe do a minute i don't know i'm not timing it <laughs> we just keep going until start to feel a little heat a little warmth a little energy coming into many muscles that are working really hard to hold us up here our scapular stabilizers our tummy muscles of course even our hip flexors quadriceps doing quite a lot here and we're going to add in a little bit of an oblique twist a little bit of a side plank series so we're going to inhale on the exhale i'm going to come on to my left arm turn myself onto a side plank from here give me five lifts of the hips up towards the ceiling and five inhale exhale back into the plank pull your tummy up get strong in your plank we inhale on the exhale we take the weight onto the right arm we rotate into that side plank get your side plank steady first and then we pulse that left hip up towards the ceiling five times last two and one hold up tall inhale exhale back into the plank hold your plank up nice and steady squeeze your bum and pulling your tummy up and away from the mat inhale on the exhale can you push yourself up into a full plank straighten out the elbows and you're on your hands now from here inhale on your exhale pick up your right knee try to touch your right elbow left knee to left elbow we'll do 10 times that's three on the right four touch back right five touch back left six touch back keep it going seven and back eight touch and back nine and back last one ten and back inhale exhale to come down into your first plank where you're on your forearms inhale exhale to gently lower down and let's push ourselves into our favorite shell stretch extended chest pose stretch push your bum back onto your heels squeeze your bum stretch the arms out in front of you trying to get the forehead down towards the mat this is a toughie why did we sign up to this no it's good to get this done every so often and the session's a bit shorter when you do it harder well that's why that's my reasoning anyway turn on to your back next for me lying flat on your back doing lots of ab works today so no cushion i'm afraid okay we're gonna do a little bit of a flow exercise here bad boy look at me first of all we're going to come up into our bridge position arms are going to be floated up overhead okay as we gently come down out of the bridge the hands of course are going to start to come back but we're not going to stop there we're going to follow right the way through so that we're in this hundreds preps position okay that's when we take ourselves into our hundreds prep we'll do 10 flaps of the arms there we come back and then the whole sequence starts again okay we're going for like 10 of these and that will be our hundreds though okay now flatten your back big breath in breath out ground down through the feet squeeze the bum come up into a nice tall bridge for me definitely don't neglect your bridge so we'll do this all slow and deliberate make it that little bit harder inhale to lift the arms up over your head on your exhale gently start walking your bridge back down up come the arms Sit up and snap the abdominal prep position uplift the legs so you can either be in a dish like me or fold it up into tabletop set the shoulders down and let's start to pump the arms up and down for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 legs come back inhale back into bridge exhale arms come gently coming down out of the bridge fold forward ab prep 
legs lift. Off we go again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs come back. Inhale. Exhale. Up we go into the bridge. Arms come up overhead. Stretching off the abdominals here while the arms are up overhead. Breathe in. Breathe in. Like lowering back down. The arms are taking us into that hundreds position. This is our third set. Off we pump. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go back. Feet plant. Off we push into the bridge and the arms come up and over. Just be here for a second. Inhale. Exhale. Takes the arms. It flattens the bridge. And once the arms start to come to the point of coming near the legs, that's when you sit up. Your arms are floated down. Just pick up these legs and pulse with me. Flapping the arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs return. Push down through the heels to lift up into the bridge. Arms are up overhead. Big breath in. Breath out. Return to the bridge. Arms float back down. The head peels up. The legs lift to 45 degrees. Set the shoulder blades back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the knees together. You don't think I'd be cruel enough to do 10 on you. <laughs> Pull the knees to the chest. Big breath in. And a big breath out. So when first single leg stretch, straighten your right knee up and away. Sit your upper body up. We're just going to tap this left leg. I'm going to put one hand on my knee and one hand just catching my calf here. Inhale. Exhale to swap. Just tap in the hands and swap. Let's do 10. And swap. 9. Sit up tall. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And one, inhale, grab the backs of the knees, rest back, exhale, inhale, and on your exhale, roll yourself up into a nice seated position. I'm going to do our full abdominal curl ups now, roll up and roll down. I can't even see you right now, Turn my glasses, hello. So, roll up and roll down, we all know this one, arms are up overhead, inhale, on the exhale, we're just taking ourselves forward into that nice C curve position, pulling the tummy away from the thighs. Arms stretching out down past the feet. Big breath in. Exhale to sit up tall. Inhale. And on the exhale, starting to roll the spell down one bit at a time. We're just going to go in for our full curl ups here. Inhale. Exhale, float the arms just above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, sit right the way up, push and through, inhale. Exhale, roll back, come tall and then start to roll the spine back one bit at a time, arms come up overhead, inhale. Exhale, float the arms to shoulder height, tuck the chin to the chest, sit up, shoot the arms forward, inhale. Exhale, sit and tall, lift the arms up overhead, just always trying to get a bit of mobility into this for you guys as well. We need both mobility and strength. Big push. Set up. Stretch through. We're halfway there. Inhale. Lift the arms. Exhale to lower back. Dropping the spine down one bit at a time. Trying to keep those legs grounded if you can. Arms come up. And we curl the spine up. Really, really, really blasting those abs today. Shoot through to get that end range of flexion in your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, stack spine and arms up tall. Inhale, exhale, rolling through the spine, dropping yourself down one bit at a time. The arms come up overhead, stop just above your shoulders, peel up again, right the way up and through. Inhale, exhale, come tall, lower back, reaching up and overhead. We'll do two more. This is the second last, sitting up and through, pull your tummy up and away, keep those knees straight, inhale to sit tall, exhale to lower back, control, control, control this entire time, arms up overhead, inhale, this is the last one, hands float 
over the shoulders and push through your abdominals to reach right the way forward. That was absolutely amazing. Feel yourself sitting up nice and tall. We're going to pop these hands out behind us for a little bit of hip twist now. So just trying to get the obliques into the picture. So you can be here with your hands facing your body and your elbows straight. Or you can come right down into a forearm position here um, if it makes life any easier for you. Okay, I'm going to try this one. And then if I start to fail, you'll see me coming down into the other position. So first of all, just to make it a little bit easy, connect your feet together. So I want your big toe in the insides of both of your heels touching. You can keep an openness in the knees so though if you like. Ground down through your tummy muscles here. And we're going to imagine again like we've got pencils coming up and out of the knees and we're drawing circles on the roof here. Change direction. Of course we're going to make this harder. This is just get you used to the, the movement and what's going on here. Okay, straighten out at the knees. Like I said, this might be where I come down onto my forearms. Just so I can really make sure that I'm grounding down through the tummy muscles. Off we go, big circles. Grounding my tummy muscles. So it's just the movement of the hips that are happening here. Change direction. See where you can be up here. Big, big, big circles. The wider you can make them, the better. Change direction. Up and round. Ground your tummy muscles. Change direction again. Up and round. Big, 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 big circles. Inhale. Exhale to roll up and tall, come down to touch the toes. That's it, knees nice and straight. Bring on the forehead down in between the shoulders to look in between the knees. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to do a little sideline glutes one, just to give your hip flexors a little bit of a break there. And we have more ab busting ones to come. Take yourself into kneeling. If you're watching any of my other videos, you'll have seen this one before. Perfectly kneeling, facing me. Take the left hand first, fingers facing away from the body. Come down into a side flex position here. We're going to pick this right leg up, knee straight and toe pointed. Rotate your shoulders back so that you're, you're nicely in line and you're not um, crouched forward like so. Head is bang slap in the middle of the old shoulders. Have a look down, make sure you're nicely in line. We're gonna pick that extended leg up. Pull up at the toes. Float the leg forward. And float the leg back. Okay, changing your foot position if you like. Seeing if going with a pointed toe makes it any easier. Or floating the toes up and down. Perhaps makes it nicer going in for 10 of these, so we're halfway there. Breathing deep, keeping the tummy pulled in. Last one, inhale, exhale. Can you push yourself up into standing? Catch yourself. It's a nice balance exercise and we swap sides. Extending out that left leg, knee straight and toe pointed. Fingertips of the right hand, pointing away from the body. We come down onto that right hand. Pulling the shoulders back. Come right down onto the palm of your hand here. Put a cushion in if it's really, really sore on your wrists, okay? Inhale, exhale, I'm trying to float that hip up in line with the body. It will be quite hard to do. And we're floating the leg backwards and forwards. Paint brush, brush strokes. I'm really, really finding this in my, in my glutes today. Keeping it up and level with the body. We're over halfway there. Good, last two. And one. Now you remember this one, stand tall. Can you float back up and catch yourself? Excellent. We'll do one more on each side and then back in for a little bit more tummy work. Left fingers pointing away from the body. Let's come down onto the side. Good. And this time we're just going to go straight hip abduction. So just trying to bring the outside of the ankle up towards the ceiling. You're staying within the plane of your body this whole time. Windscreen wipers on the car. 10 in total. Keep the tummy pulled up and away from the mat. Good. And make sure you don't have the hip flexed out in front of you. Look down and make sure you're in a nice alignment. Lift the leg up as high as you can. Hold up here, high as you can. And let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Can you catch yourself? Gentle balance, 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 balance. 
and catch. Excellent. Drop sides. Last bit of torture on these hips. Palms, fingers facing away. Hand on the hip. Look down. Make sure your hips nicely in line with the rest of your body. And we come up into a little bit of hip abduction. And we're just lifting up and down. Down to touch the mat. Lifting up like windscreen wipers. 10 in total. And then we do our little five pulses at the end. Try not to jackknife your leg up. Still try to make everything precise and controlled like we do with all of our Pilates movements. Good. Last one and then we pulse for five. Up we come. Just as high as you can lift it. You can see I can't lift this one that high today. Pulse. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it there. Can you balance? Good catch yourself. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Gently take yourself back onto your back again. Okay. Lower them down, holding on to the backs of the knees. Come back, inhale. On your exhale, slide the hands up. Just as far as I can come up the knees and lower back down. Five small abdominal crunches. Reaching up to the top of the knees, gently lowering back down. Keep those feet planted, curling up. Three. Gently curl back down, inhale. Exhale to curl. Inhale to lower. Last one, exhale to curl. Gonna stay up here. Interlace your fingers, pop them around the back of your head to give your head a little bit of support. Straighten your right leg out for me. So it's floated up off the mat. Gonna flex that left knee up into tabletop. Gonna go in for our oblique twist. So bring them right elbow to left knee. Inhale. Exhale to swap over. Good. Off we go. You might not always get to touch the knee off the elbow. It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that rotation. That you're looking to the right side of your mat. You're looking to the left side of your mat. We want to get that twisted motion into the trunk of fire and our obliques muscles. Good. Last four. Swap. Three. Swap. Two. Swap. And one. Inhale. Exhale. To lower back down. Hands come down by your side. Big breath in. On your breath out, we're going to fold left leg and then right leg up into tabletop. We're also going to float our hands up overhead. Make sure you guys can see me okay. I'm so sorry, honestly. My glasses are <laughs> so massive, they keep falling off my face. So I keep tossing them off and then I'm like, oh wow, I can't see. Right, we're in dead bug position. Knees just directly over the hips. Hands are just directly over the shoulders and your elbows are nice and soft. Now, keeping that activation of the tummy, don't want your back arching up too much, so really, really push through with your tummy gently. You'll have a little bit of an arch in the back, don't flatten it out completely, but maintain an awareness and a bit of control in your centre. Okay, what we're going to be doing is right arm lowers back, overhead at the same time the left leg straightens out. Inhale, exhale to bring them back centre, easy, inhale, left arm, right leg. So you breathe out to extend, breathe in to return. Breathe out to extend. Inhale to return. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Going to change the breathing pattern up just so you can see what the difference feels like. Breathe in to extend. Breathe out to return. Breathe in. Extend, breathe out to return. Last one on each. Last time. Left arm, right leg. Inhale. Exhale, take a grab of your right knee. Straighten that left leg out for me. Give the right a tug up towards your chest, really trying to pin that left leg down onto the mat for me. 
Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. As you breathe out, pick that left leg up. Give it a tug up towards your chest and we send the right leg out. Scooch the left knee towards your chest. Pin the back of that right leg down onto the mat. You'll get a very gentle hip flexor stretch on that right hand side. Relax those shoulders back and breathe. Big, big blaster today, guys. Doing absolutely phenomenal. I'm sweating. Utterly, utterly sweating. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Good. Gently return that leg. Okay. Let's do a little bit more leg lifty kind of stuff. Isn't the nicest, but let's do it. We're going to pin the hands down by our side. Okay. We're going to be going in for our scissors type of motion. So the further down we are, the difficult this is going to be. Okay. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to be starting up in this 90 degree position. Knees straight and toes pointed. You will have your upper body curled up so you can kind of look up towards your knees here. Okay. From here, we're going to draw gentle circles. Just small. And of course, in time, you can have your hands behind your head here as well, if you like, okay. We're going to gently lower those legs while circling. So we become closer and closer and closer towards the floor. <sighs> Squeeze through your core muscles here. Otherwise, you'll strain your back. And when you've hit that last circle down near the floor, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> circle back through. So you're just lifting up into that tabletop slightly further. You're connecting the big toes. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten out. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Two more. Last one. Good. Inhale. Grab of the knees up towards the chest. Turn onto your left hand side for me. Very gently. Just to take a breather. An excuse. Gonna stretch off the quads and the hip flexors here and lying. Drop yourself up onto your elbow. Bend that right knee up. Take a grab of your hip, of your hip, of your foot. Carry. I'll come back and I'm not even no man out of me. So you're squeezing your heel towards your thumb, and then trying to do that posterior pelvic tilt that I'm always talking about, as if you wanted to squeeze this hip bone towards me. Get a nice stretch down the thigh here. Inhale, and on your exhale, roll over on the other side, so you can do your left. Lying down on your side, pulling the heel up towards the bum, and squeezing the bum muscles to posteriorly tilt your pelvis, so you can get that extra, extra bit of hip flexor, upper quadriceps stretch. Inhale and exhale. Okay, from there. Turn yourself onto your tummy. Now you wouldn't believe it. I really, really enjoy the swimming exercise in Pilates. I do feel it works my core, even though you'd think, oh my goodness, how? When you're lying on your tummy, but it's that bracing that you get with cross-directional movement. Okay, so we've got forehead down on the mat, two arms straightened out in front of us. And we're starting off with the starting position of sinking those hip bones into the mat. And we're just gonna come straight up for swimming. We're gonna go for it. So swimming, we float the forehead up off the mat. We're lifting the right arm, lifting up with opposite leg, and we're swimming. Opposite hand, opposite leg. I'm going to do 20 seconds of this. You're really making sure you're squeezing your bum. Keeping the knee straight, so I don't want it so much like a flick of your ankles or your knees here. And if this is brand new to you, go and visit some of my previous videos where I break this move down a little bit more. Big breath in. Big breath out, inhale, come up tall, exhale, pull the lower back down and through, inhale, exhale, push back through, and a nice shell stretch, bum onto the heels, extending the arms out in front, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Gonna come on to all fours. And a 
like a camel stretch. Pushing through the spine, squeeze the bum. Bring your head in between your shoulders, big breath in. Breath out, flatten the back out. Inhale. Exhale up and through. Inhale. Exhale. Down. Arching the back. Looking up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Inhale. Exhale to round through. Love a bit of spinal mobility. Really squeeze the bum when you're up here. Open up those shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Back into your all fours position. So, just going to do a gentle bit of bird dogs here. So you just have your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees about hip width apart. Inhale. On the exhale, you're going to pick up the right arm, straightening out the left leg. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the knee and the hand through to touch each other. And then they straighten all the way out again. Good. We have a 10 of these, and this might be quite hard to balance, so slow it way down. Good. Reach your hand through and try to touch the outside. So as your knee flexes through, thread that right hand through. Try to touch the outside of the left hip. So you're getting a little bit more of a twist into it. Threading underneath. Good. You'll get a nice bit of spinal rotation here. Knee flexes through, touching the outside of the hip. Inhale, exhale, float that arm back down. Left arm, right leg. Bird dog pulling the tummy up. Inhale, exhale, to make it see this even better on this side. Knee flexes through, really, really, really tough for balance. The hands come through to touch the outside of the thigh, stretching up and through. And down, pulling the head down a little, almost as if you're looking over. Your right shoulder squeezing your bum squeezing your tummy this whole time kind of keep that balance in there you'll definitely see me struggling good this will be the last one whoa the balance is so hard for me but good to challenge yourself inhale exhale coming up into a kneeling position this one's awful it's doing a little bit of quads and lower tummy muscle one for this one now, please make sure you don't strain your back here. Set the shoulders back, turn your tummy muscles on by squeezing your bum and your tummy to get that nice neutral pelvic alignment. This looks so easy. I'm gonna feel it working on the quads. So I'm sinking my feet into the mat here and you'll see I'm not changing, I'm not gonna be hyperextending my back. That's a gentle lower back and forward. You're gonna be feeling the screaming in the quads, but your tummy needs to be keeping you nice and tight here as well. So that you don't overextend into your lower back. So this helps us with more functional movements anytime we're maybe lifting things, pulling at something where you're going back. So that we're strengthening this anterior chain. Just a little to catch us so that we don't dump into the spine. Good. We can bring the arms into it as well. I am pretty rubbish at this, so I don't go back too far. So play around with your range here. But make sure you're staying nice and tight at the tummy. You're not increasing that arch of the back as you fall back. Some people feel this in the feet. Most people feel it in the quads. You should be feeling your tummy doing a little bit of stabilizing here too. Good. Last three. And two. I'm going to test myself a little bit further every time. And one. And up centre. Absolutely beautiful. Big breath in. On your breath out, lift that right foot up. Lunge forward onto the front leg. Let's stretch off these hip flexors. Nearly impossible to avoid batter in the hip flexors when doing quadricep, um, when doing core work, but it's okay. We'll just keep them lengthened and strengthened. Lifting that left arm up overhead, lunge into that front knee, inhale, exhale to come back, return that knee, change over, put the left foot out in front now, inhale, exhale to lunge into the front knee and we lift that right arm up overhead, really squeeze your bum here, inhale and exhale, inhale 
and exhale. Coming back through. Do a few press ups and then go about our day. So you're on your knees. Gently curl your spine forward, walk your hands forward onto the mat. So you can either be in your modified press up position or if you like, out in your full plank to go in for your press ups here. Just bring in my hands just about as wide as my mat. Inhale. And on your exhale, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale, push through to downward dog. Squeeze shoulder blades back. Do the stretch down the back body. Brilliant. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the feet closer towards the hands. Final roll up, big breath in. Breath out, ground and down through the feet. Stacking yourself back up. One bit at a time until you're right the way back up and standing again. How are we doing for time? Brilliant. A little bit longer than I thought, actually. Let's cool down our tissues to finish off. That was absolutely brilliant today. Absolutely brilliant. A little bit of a burner, a little bit faster pace. It's good to pepper that in these kind of high, more higher intensity ones, getting the heart rate up that little bit. Okay, let's take ourselves into our cool down. Slowing down the heart rate. Pumping the blood from the major muscles, from the peripheries, back to the center. Okay, gonna slow down the movement of the legs. And every time you come from knee to knee, nice circles with the arms. We come across the body, up as tall as you can be, as wide as you can be. That's when you come back center, the hands hit in the middle and the circle starts again. Excellent. Back center. Walk the feet a little bit closer together. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate your body. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. To come back center. And side bend. Down to that left hand side. Inhale. Exhale. Come across the body. Up tall. Arms come center. Inhale. On this exhale, we rotate to the right. Right the way around, just as far as you can go. I do let my legs kind of move here, I don't pin them. So don't overstrain your knees, of course. Inhale, exhale, back center, come down to that side. Nice big side stretch. Inhale, exhale, tipping the body across, both hands sweep up and round, hands come center, inhale. Exhale, turn to the left. Far end as you can go, getting that thoracic rotation. Inhale. Exhale to turn back center. Drop the arm on the left hand side down. We side bend. Inhale. Exhale, tipping across the body. Hand sweeps across. It joins your wrist and hand. Circle and down. Last time on the side. Inhale. Exhale. Give your big creep to my knee. Everything cooling down. Glorious. Big breath in. Breath out. Return and center. We lower that right arm. We side bend. Picking up the left. Opening up the left hand side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. We're dropping down and across. It meets the rest. And hand. We're up tall. Bring the feet to about hip width apart. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to float up onto the tippy toes. We're stretching tall, hands come apart. Spread your fingertips wide, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, scoop the floor. Hands come center. We grow, we grow, we grow, we grow and elevate up onto the tippy toes. Inhale, exhale, return the heels. Scoop the ground. Hands creep up centrally till they hit the top. And that's when we grow up through the feet. Inhale. Exhale up and round, gently folding forward, scoop the earth last time, up through the centres, fingers spread tall like branches of a tree, you come up onto your tippy toes, inhale, exhale, scooping back down, last time, centre, just going to roll out the old wrists, 
I did a fair bit today. Good. I'm just making circles and just doing a little bit of mobility work on the feet. Just lifting your feet up and down, changing directions with the wrists. Palms face away from each other, push out. Coming all the way forward to touch the ground, soften on the knees. Big breath in to fill the back body and the backs of the ribs up with air. Exhale, lifting the arms as you go. You're looking at your fingers this whole time. So the hands are resting right the way up above your head. Grow that extra centimeter or two taller. Inhale. Exhale, you're following the gaze of your hand this whole time. We're gently lowering the hands and we're coming down towards the floor with them. Inhale. Exhale to pick up. Now level with the chest, but we're following right the way through until our arms, our insides of our palms are facing the ceiling. We're stretching to grow tall. Inhale, exhale, release the hands. Give your arms a shake, pump the knees, big breath in, breath out, forcefully and shake it all about. Two more, big breath in, forceful breath out. Empty your lungs fully on your last one. Here we go. Big breath in. And keep going, keep going. Woohoo! Another session done. What a burner. Enjoy. Take it lightly. Share it with who you like. Keep moving. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.